I, um, tonight I went and saw the premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. It was amazing. Like, seriously, amazing isn't even a word for it. It was like astronomically, implosively epic. It was the best Harry Potter film ever. And it was, I don't even know. It was just like the most dramatic, heart-wrenching close to a movie series ever. Seriously, I cried about four or five times and I had the snivels through the entire movie. It was ridiculous. But, I mean, it, it was awesome. Seriously. I dressed up as Bellatrix Lestrange. If you guys haven't noticed from my big poof right here. It's my hair, hairdo. And, um, I got lots of compliments and pictures. Well, not that many pictures, but I did get quite a few. And, um, my friend dressed up as a Death Eater. She wore the full body cloak and the mask. And, um, I got there, like my experience with this, I got there, um, at about 9.30. And I stood in line, and my friend hadn't gotten there yet, Olivia. And she hadn't gotten there yet, so I called her and told her that the doors were opening and they were going to be seating people at about 9.45. And she wasn't even there, so when the line went, started moving and everybody went in I couldn't go in because I didn't have my ticket Olivia had bought my ticket for me and I didn't have it so I had to wait for her to get there and when she got there we went in found seats everybody thought my costume was extremely awesome I'll post pictures and um I don't know I cried I was literally in tears when Severus died he, I mean, he was such a great actor, such a great character, that I grabbed Olivia's hand and I, it, our knuckles turned white when Seth first died. I was, I had one single tissue that she found at the bottom of her purse and I don't know, I'm surprised my makeup isn't even more messed up, but, um, when Severus died, when Neville came on screen, I cried every time Neville came on screen. He's my number one favorite character ever. Followed by Ron, closely by Ron, and then Sirius, and then Severus, and then Lupin. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it, it was amazing. If you haven't seen this movie, you have to go see it. And, I mean... The ending, the ending was pretty neat. I love the way that they made Harry, Ron, and Hermione look older, and Tom Felton, oh my god. <laughs> the guy who plays Draco Malfoy, he was, he was pretty, he was pretty good looking. <laughs> but, um, it was an amazing close to a Generation series movie. And... I mean, they did change a few things, but since the movie just came out, I'm not going to tell you what they changed. You have to go see it for yourself. Um, it had funny moments. It had the sad moments. It had epic moments. It had astronomically, implosively awesome moments. Um, the movie was spot on. Like, literally. And if you haven't seen it, you should go see it. Like, right now. I don't care if they're not even showing it in theaters. Just go steal the reel and play it. <laughs> it's amazing. So, um, now I'm going to show you a few of the pictures that I took with people. And my costume and everything. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys later.